hello viewers in last video we have seen how to install hard disk in the nvr hikvision 7100 series today we will learn the basic setup of hikvision 7100 series nvr for to that first we need to do the power up of the nvr for power powering up you can see you will be having a dc socket here you need to put the power and you have to connect the vga cable in the this this slot we also need to interface mouse with that so as you can see there are usb ports where you can insert the mouse point so as such our hardware connection is complete now we will see the display once you power up the nvr the first thing you get the beep sound that beep sound audio you get and you will be getting some initial display you can see the first display of your nvr is showing the panel this is a first setup you have to select the language i select is english then it will ask for the set the resolutions so you can it uh, you can set it now you have to select the password as you can see you can give password 8 to 16 character and uh, it should not contain the username should not contain admin and they have showed that for password you should give uh, the combination of digit upper case lower case letters and special characters so suppose uh, i give password like a b c capital d then 1 2 3 symbol so you can see all the criteria has been fulfilled so you have to confirm the password a b c capital d 1 2 3 rate. so you have to activate the password next setting is asking for the password reset option that means if you forget the password how will you uh, reset the password that you can give your email id i am putting my email id so that when uh, i forget the password the password should be sent to the my email id so as you can see i have given my uh, password and i have applied now you will have to configure the things you have two options manual configuration and auto configuration so it is uh, better go for the auto configuration until unless you require some specific criteria so i go for the auto now it will uh, configure the process it may it will format the hard disk because i the hard disk what we have connected that is the new hard disk so we need we need to format it so i say yes to format now the hard disk is being format now as i get getting the message no available network camera in the current lan because i have not connected any camera so this is the screen what you get this is the uh, basic settings of the higvision 7100 series nvr in next video we will learn how to connect the network camera with the nvr so after the basic settings we have to go to the this settings menu and we have to check the all the details especially time zone and time format and time here i am changing to india that is madras bombay new delhi format i am facing and remaining uh, you need not to change whatever default settings is there you can run your 
camera on this default settings whenever you will be using a specific application that time you may need to configure the things that I will come out with the different video for that. Now the next step is to interfacing the camera as you can see I have a Hikvision 1.3 megapixel dome IP camera and this IP camera cam comes with the this kind of uh, connectors uh, one will be the LAN connector another is the power connector if we use the PoE switch power over Ethernet switch then you do not require this external power supply but if you do not use the PoE switch that time you need to provide 12 volt power in this socket so here today we will be using a PoE switch so we will be using only this connector only and this is the power connector for PoE switch so let's power up the PoE switch for that you can see we have removed the packet so this is the front of the PoE switch here you can see these are the eight port are there and they, you have been given two uplink port that is very advantageous so you can you can connect each camera in each port and here you have two uplink ports so what we are going to do we are taking the camera and we are going to connect the camera to the SPV switch via patch cord that I will show you now so this is the patch cord which will be used one end of the patch cord will be connected to the camera and another I will be connecting to any of the PoE switch ports. Now we have to power the PoE switch and you have to connect the uplink to the NVR. By this port we have connected the camera to the PoE switch. Now uplink should go to the NVR. In that means we have to connect. We have to connect here. This uplink switch you can see uplink here from here should go to this port then only it start functioning so I have another patch cord to connect switch to PoE switch to NBR so I am connecting to the uplink port here one side and another side will go to this NBR you can see another port will go to this NBR So, uplink from the, you can see, uplink from the NVR is connected to the switch of the ports and another patch cord is connected to the, this, this camera. Now, we have to go to the screen again and we have to go to this setup option. In the setup, setup option, in left hand side, you have the option that is called camera in camera when you will go in the bottom you can see one camera has been detected whose IP address is 192.168.1.64 this is the default IP uh, IP of any camera when you purchase a new camera Higvision new camera the default IP is this one only Higvision management port is this and this is your device model number model of the camera and this is the serial number this is the unique serial number of the camera so we need to add it now we have to select the camera like this and you have to say add so once you click on it that you can see the camera option has come at the top it's showing the and it is marked yellow you can see here it is marked yellow with as you can see our camera is in on here one thing important thing is to observe please check the date and time and here you can see the red color on icon has come it shows recording has started this shows the recording is going on now I can move the camera here in different places you can see the camera is showing so now in this video I would like to show you the its night vision capability also.
you can see as I have switched on the light automatically IR has been triggered IR has been triggered and you can see the night vision capability of this camera is very very good I would say this is a very good camera you can a, it is a totally dark in my room but you can see you can see many things very clearly within using this camera so the night vision is very very good quality of this camera now when I will switch on the light again you will see automatically the IR will be off so I have, so I have switched on now the IR is switched off so this is the performance of the heat vision 1.3 megapixel camera by this process we have completed the installation of a IP cam one IP camera same procedure can be repeated to install subsequent cameras so in next video I will show you the various settings on the NVR for advanced work so hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please subscribe like and share thank you